In today's video, I'm gonna take you through why the single back bunch X nasty PA drag wheel is my favorite play in Madden 22. And the reason why, it beats literally everything. Literally everything. Let's get into it. What is up guys, Zan from the Zan Madden YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about my favorite play in Madden 22. This is something that I call absolutely nonstop. As you can see, PA drag wheel, has almost 3,400 play calls, getting close to that. And we have a 14.3 yards per attempt average on this. Now, this is absolutely insane. This is one of my biggest money plays that I run, and I run it for a lot of reasons. And if you guys watch the channel, you guys probably are piecing together a lot of different videos. We've done videos before on drag wheels. We've done videos before on play action blocking basically going to be bringing a lot of that together into one video here kind of similar to the pa boot over video i did just last week talking about how you man up the pull to defend the primary that was actually two different videos that i fused together to show you an overall concept kind of how i teach madden in general is giving you the small building blocks allow you to build your foundation and apply that into your scheme now we're going to be talking specifically about what i'm thinking when i run this play here so let's start off with the man blitz probably the most asked question that i get is what's up guys just want to say thank you so much for helping me reach 13,000 subscribers here on the zan madden youtube channel it means a ton to me that you guys are still supporting in the late spring into the early summer and we're going to be pushing forward towards madden 23 before you know it if you guys could do me a quick favor make sure that you guys hit the like button subscribe to the channel and if you're really wanting to help make sure you guys drop a comment below it helps push this video in the algorithm and helps this content get out to other madden players just like you that are looking for madden tips tutorials now back to the video probably the most asked question that i get is how do you attack the mid blitz or the 4-3 even 6-1? We did a video on that. So we're gonna apply that logic when we talk about play action under center blocking. So being that this is a play action play, this is a great play to be able to pick up the blitz. So when we talk about mid blitz or you know cover one hole where you global blitz everybody, this is a really, really great play. Uh, and the reason for that is that we have the ability to block our running back and in a play action play, he exaggerates his blocking angle to the left. If you were to compare this to a regular drop back pass with the running back blocking, you see he blocks up the middle. So that play action style play is very, very nice. Um, so when we reset our play here, let's just go ahead and respot the ball. When we block that running back, we know that he's gonna basically look left, which is very, very key for us. Now, with this particular offense, I do want to preface that in Ultimate Team, I prioritize route running abilities. I think that this is arguably the best formation in the game if you put route running abilities on your receivers. So whether that's short and elite, because every single player here is in inside the numbers, or a route tech, use the cheaper of those two abilities on whatever receiver you have to optimize this play. Uh, but because we don't have a hot route master here, I'm just gonna show you very simply how we can destroy man to man. Now, starting off, we could go ahead and leave the drag wheel. This is something that you're going to have to determine for yourself. If your offensive line is holding up with this seven man protection against the heavy blitz, then you go ahead and let the drag wheel roll. If you are struggling with this, one of my favorite route combos, and this is super simple, is a deep out route or a slot apprentice corner with a whip route underneath of it. Just use double whips and some sort of route that's gonna break it in intermediate level. And you're gonna do a phenomenal job with this. So you see right here how we aren't struggling getting guys open. We have a route running ability there on Cooper Cup. And I do my little patented double spin move and I'm up the field for a touchdown. This is something I do every day on stream. You guys watch me on twitch.tv slash Zan Madden. We stream Monday through Friday in the afternoons, basically around 1 or 2 p.m. until, you know, 5 or 6 p.m. every single day. And that is central time. So that is something I will do very, very frequently. And that actually doesn't use any of the stock routes. This is just hot routing out of this play. So you have that freestyle, kind of that do whatever you want vibe that goes with this play. And honestly, the formation as a whole. Now, if you are facing more of like a passive man coverage, so we're talking like more of your cover one hole, this is where I absolutely love this play because I basically know if I can block the rush, then we're gonna be in a good spot. Now, unfortunately the Eagles have 
two defensive tackles that split double teams against the Rams. So I'm just going to kind of spy those players just to show you the seven on seven or the receivers versus the coverage. Uh, so we're going to keep the pass rush off here, but I want you to watch with a route running ability what this drag wheel does. Again, this should not be news to most of you. This is something that I have uh, been championing all year and honestly for years now. This goes back to my wing tight U offense with the drag wheel going up the field. So if you guys followed me in like Madden 20, this is something that I carried over from year to year. It's a really, really good route especially when you put a route ability on it. It's one of the few wheels in the game that actually creates separation against man to man. So with something like this, I'll run just a simple uh, crosser. You know, I'll use a slot apprentice post if I can, or a hot rod master post on woods. You could leave this stock crosser if you want, use a whip underneath of it for a check down if somebody sheds. And then I have the running back on an out route. The reason I use the out route is because I think that this is one of those uh, deals where if there's zone dropping and I have to throw the ball quickly to the left, and Cooper Cup hasn't gotten into the wheel route portion where he's created separation yet, that's a great check down over there. If you guys want to, you could go ahead and run Texas routes. Uh, you could change up the route that Beckham is on and maybe send Acres out to the right flat. So maybe if you want to run off the coverage like this, you know, that's something that you could do if you're not quite sure that it's man to man. But again, this is kind of in general, one of the route combos I'll go with. So what we're going to do here is we're going to snap the ball. And I want you to watch Cooper Cup right here. You see, uh, well, of course, our uh, two man rush just, uh, came in free ea sports it's in the game let's try this again again if you know that you can send everybody out maybe do something like this but let cooper cup get into his route and then when he wheels up the sideline he's going to create separation now from here i think it's really really important that you guys understand that uh two things one i don't have a velocity ability and stafford's got the worst release in the game uh, and two, Cooper Cup's actually not that fast. If you guys are playing Ultimate Team, you know, you guys are going to be in a spot where you're going to have 99 speed getting that separation. Um, you know, obviously in regs, this works. Uh, Stafford a little bit harder to push the ball down to Cooper Cup, but you see that he was still open on that play. Uh, so very, very easy to get that route open against man-to-man, -man, even though that looked a little bit covered. That was more or less the release animation that made that close, not the separation or the lack thereof that maybe some of you might think. Now, that's more of like your man and man blitz, pick up the pressure, you know, freestyling. Let's talk about what this does against zone drops. So the really cool thing about this route is that even if your opponent wants to set max zone drops of 30 for their flats, you're still gonna be able to fit this in. Again, we're gonna have a little bit of a struggle here with the throwing animation that Stafford has, but, um, you know, this is something that uh, I really, really like this route. Uh, you know, this is a route that is available against the zone blitz. So, if the, you know, they blitz over the middle. I could throw the ball hot to Cooper Cup over the middle on the drag component of this route. Or if it's a max style coverage, which a lot of players like to play Mabel, this is something where I will live. I will absolutely live destroying their, their max zone drop. So I'll do something like this, motion the tight end over. You know, I'll maybe use a table route to the running back if I have a hot route master. And I'll just kind of set up a rollout designed to go over here. I'm looking to hit Cooper Cup as he wheels up the field, uh, taking his sweet time. There we go. Get over the top of them right there for a little toe tap. Honestly, if you have a velocity ability, a little bit more accuracy, a faster receiver, you're going to be able to throw that in stride and rack it down the field. You can actually pick up a one play touchdown out of this. So that is something that is really, really nice as well. Now, the last thing that I want to talk about with this particular play is that this is an absolute Mabel killer. So let's stick with the zone drops theme. A lot of players love their zone drops. So they'll have like a 30 and then maybe a five yard uh, purple. And when we talk about, you know, Mabeling, we're talking about having basically three sideline zones. You've got a deep zone, you've got a zone drop blue, and then you got a zone drop purple. So three different tiers of the sideline are covered when people do this. And the most common defense that people Mabel out of is going to be the Mike Blitz three. So. We also have talked about the X nasty and the tells. I know that this is Mike Blitz three based off of how the DB aligns. If you want proof, look what happens when I'm in a regular coverage play. So you see that the corner aligns correctly. When I'm in a blitz play out of a nickel set, he aligns on the wrong side. So I know right away this is Mike Blitz three based immediately off of where the nickel corner is. You know, I'm giving all the secrets here. But what we're gonna be doing here with this particular setup is we know that most players are going to play blues and purples on both sides, and then they rush three. So you might see something that kind of looks a little bit like this in terms of the coverage. They cover the middle, everything else is on the sideline, rush three. The really cool thing about this play is that if you send the B receiver to the flat, you wheel the running back up the field, and you basically do the same combo on this side, both of the purple zones that are found on this play. 
So both of the outside linebackers in those purples, regardless of their zone drop, they could literally be set to 0, 5, 10, 30, it doesn't matter. They will turn late in the play and man up the wheel, whether that's Cooper Cup or Akers on his route. So I'm going to keep the pass rush off of me just to prove this. Um, obviously, this is a three-man rush, uh, but you're going to see the exact same effect. So both flats are going to be wide open on this. So watch how late in the play, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. See how B ended up running down. Now, right there, we also saw the cloud flat rally, but you see how the, the wide receiver, or the, the running back now has that purple zone playing man to man on him the entire way. That's going to be really, really big for being able to throw the ball uh, to your flat option. So we use the B receiver on the right. We use the tight end on the left. You can just wait on it. You just know it's going to happen. Boom. We throw the ball out to the flat. I cannot tell you how many times on a fourth down and three, when I know Mabel coverage is coming, I will go to this and just be patient. Let the purple zone turn and chase late in the play, throw the ball out in the flat, walk for a first down. So simple. So simple. So this is something that I really like to do against Mabel calls. Um, anytime they've got a, a zone drop blue, a zone drop purple and a deep zone on that side, I can immediately say, okay, well, you're going to go ahead and play, you know, you're going to play man to man on that player. So I want you to watch Avery here specifically on this play. Just watch Avery. Um, and you're going to see how late in the play he does that. So gets out to the flat. Now, why goes up the field and he says, you know what? I got to get out of here. And we throw the ball out there into the flat and boom, we scamper up the field, pick up our first down. So it's a really, really good tip that you guys can use on a third and medium or a fourth and medium call when you know that they've got a purple zone dropped in the flat. So I hope that you guys like today's video. This is my favorite play in the game. Now, of course, there's so much more to the X Dynasty offense. This is my favorite play, but I, I do a lot more out of this. I mean, you can see I've got 1,200 calls in wide zone. Um, I've got, you know, close to, uh, let's see, 3,300 calls in that play. Verticals, I've got 3,400 play uh, calls. Post dig, uh, I've got 1,000, almost 1,400 calls in PA cross. And then I have the entire, you know, offense that I audible out into, whether that's bunch or bunch tight end or tight Y off or double south. Those are all formations that I run. If you guys want the full offense, go over to gridirongameplans.gg. No better time to learn a new offense than right now, late in the year. It helps keep this game fresh and gives you a different mindset heading into Madden 23. And that is really one of the biggest things that you guys can do. You guys saw yesterday's video. I kind of talked about how, you know, uh, the 245 odd was going to be really, really popular in Madden 23 because it was good this year and people playing the beta are saying it's even better. So kind of having yourself into a mindset where you've got a fresh way of attacking the meta uh, going into the next year. I know a lot of you probably don't run this under center offense, but it is truly, truly one of the best offenses in the game that I can assure you. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, this is Ann. Get in the lab and good luck.